okay so in last session we created responsibilities for all these applications and we completed these setups right so created user we we did that setup of hr user type profile option for all the responsibilities and we assigned all the responsibilities to the user and we create a location for business group while we are creating the business group we assign the same location and we provided business group info details now the next task is we can say these all tasks are completed all these responsibilities all these applications we created responsibilities and we complete all these tasks okay now we have to assign business group to all the responsibilities okay this is a point to understand this more detail level so to assign the business group to all the responsibilities we have to use the profile options which profile options we have to use say we have to use profile option called as to assign the primary ledger to responsibility which profile option we have to use anyone can answer please Uh, GL ledger name. Yep. The same way to assign the primary ledger to responsibility, we are using GL ledger name profile option. The same way to assign the business group to responsibilities, also we use the profile option called as HR business group. By using HR business group profile option, we can assign business group to responsibilities. Along with this profile option, we have other profile options also. So, HR security profile, MO security profile. Okay. So, other two more profile options we have: HR security profile and MO security profile. For now, just for temporary purpose, my statement is. If I go with the actual statement, you cannot understand. That is the reason. Just temporarily, I want to go with a, just some uh, uh, kind of some statement where you can consider in this way. Later, we'll override it. So, so, simple point. Let's take in this way to assign the business group to all the responsibilities or any responsibility. Say we are going to use these three profile options. The reality, this is the one which we which this is HR business group. Is enough to assign business group to all the responsibilities but still we are going to use these two profile options as of now I'm saying these two profile options also we require to assign the business group to responsibilities only okay the reality how it works we'll see that but for now you treat as with these three profile options we are going to assign business group to responsibilities why three reality all we are going to use to assign the business group or something else in further classes will come to know for now you can go with the statement called as to assign the business group to any responsibility or all responsibilities we are going to use these three profile options that's all okay so because if i go with the actual point no doubt you will have a great confusion you cannot understand also because once we go and see that reality then i'll talk on this then whatever we discuss now the statement slightly will change okay for now you try to understand business group we are going to assign to all the responsibilities by using the three profile option and here is the logic say for example first i'll use hr business group profile option i'll go and assign the business group to one responsibility and again next by using hr security profile we have to assign the business group to another same same other other responsibility again i'll use mo security profile profile option also to assign business group to responsibility so that means three profile options, three times we have to perform the assignment activity. Instead of doing that, what you can do is if you go and assign first HR business group, definitely we have to assign VZ to the same responsibility with these two more profile options also. But if I follow the sequence, first if I go and assign business group to responsibility by using HR security profile automatically HR business system will assign the business group to responsibility by using HR business group then only we have to set MO security profile if you follow this sequence 
you have to do three assignments for each and every responsibility but if you can assign your business group to responsibility by using hr security profile this profile option system will set automatically you don't need to set through manual process if you assign this that will happen automatically and then after completing this automatic system will assign this hr business group profile option to responsibility then only the other profile option which you have to set is mo security profile now you can tell me what process we can follow shall we go with this process first hr business group then security profile then mo security profile or else you suggest something i think i will follow the same way like uh, we'll assign to security profile hr security profile then uh, mo security profile yeah that's okay, a avoid the first one yes system will default automatically so so that just we can reduce one profile option assignment anyway i'll, I'll open and i'll show the proof whether when we assign hr security profile system is assigning business group or not okay we'll go with this process but remember simple point okay for now my statement is for now my statement is by using these three profile options we can assign bz2 responsibility if somebody is going to ask you the question how to assign primary uh, how to assign business group to responsibilities you can say you can remember by using hr business group but for now i am saying this two also later i'll be i'll talk on that more but simple statement for now this is what i am saying the reality only this we'll come to know very detail level okay fine let's get into the application so <clears throat> to assign any profile option from where we are assigning okay from which application we can assign our primary ledger to any responsibility for gl we did right mm -hmm. from which uh, responsibility we can do profile options uh from system uh, administrator administrator yeah from system administrator responsibility we can assign okay profile options to responsibilities it can be any profile option any profile option if you want to assign to responsibility will be using the system administrator only okay let's go and do it fine just go to system administrator responsibility just expand it click on that system will expand click on any one of the function just close that relevant function now to assign the profile option to responsibility we know the navigation same i am taking here profile system please take all these points don't forget to make a note okay please make a note all these points okay same navigation so profile system now we want to assign the business group to which responsibility anyone please anyone we want to assign the business group which responsibility oh, we need to assign sorry go ahead. Uh, we need to assign to hrm see my question i think it's not clear to you again i'm repeating my question now we want to assign we want to assign a business group to which responsibility or we are going to assign the business group to which responsibility hrms okay any other answers just now we discuss same i am asking all all responsibilities all responsibilities we want to assign business group to all responsibilities what we are going to have within the business group employees the employee information required in all the applications to access the employee information from any responsibility we are going to assign business group to all the responsibilities that is a point if i don't assign business group to say general ledger responsibility from general ledger i cannot find employees who are there in our business group okay this that is a point which you have to understand fine done we will go and do it so i'll select one by one responsibility here just i'll type erp3 just i'll type erp3 and tab out it will list out all the responsibilities okay just go with the whatever the sequence system is displaying 
first we have accounts payable just select and say ok and which profile option here we have a three profile option instead of going with the sequence you can just start with HR security profile then system will just system will uh, automatically it will assign HR business group also right so the profile option name is HR colon you have to format wise you have to give space that you can find from LOV also but instead of selecting from LOV I know exact format naming convention so I am writing the exact naming convention you have to write that's how they defined they created Oracle created HR colon space security profile click on find so here is our responsibility what we have to assign to responsibility through this profile option business group, business group. just our business group name is ERP tree just tab out it will fetch okay so ERP tree India business group done save it the same task we have to repeat how to do this okay so I mean shift okay shift page up okay shift page up okay shift page up and here just change the responsibility so here we just created and we saved now I'm just going for next profile next responsibility I'll select receivables profile option remains same click on find and type ERP tree it will fetch and save it okay and uh, shift page up ERP tree cash management super user click on find so ERP tree and save it okay shift page up the page of um, the form will be up where we can go on to change the responsibility to assign to another responsibility so we're done with the cash management now we'll go with the fixed assets then click on find ERP tree page up shift page up your petri general ledger and save it shift page up your petri human resources so human resources application name that up for in that application which business group through which business group you are going to maintain employees data that business group you have to map shift page up in the responsibility ERP tree next one is inventory responsibility ERP tree save it shift page up ERP tree order management so next ERP tree purchasing then okay for all the responsibilities we assigned business group now my big doubt is as we discussed system is assigning HR business group to the same responsibilities or not I want to check it so how to check simple process I want to check for payables so say ERP tree accounts payable so what is the requirement to this responsibility we want to check how many profile options we assigned just the point is very simple how many profile options okay we assigned so anyone please answer to this question how many profile options we assigned to this responsibility so far We have assigned a chance to get a profile number 34. 
Three preferred options. That's what I am asking. How many V assigned? V assigned. Two only. HR. No, no two V assigned. HR security profile and those two only V assigned. Okay. Now we are going to check how many are there. V assigned two only. That's what my question. Okay, fine, done. So for any responsibility, for any responsibility, if you want to go and check how many profile options are assigned, what we have to do is. You don't have to keep anything here or else simple process I'll tell you okay you assign anyway over profile system and which responsibility you want to check Just provide that responsibility name accounts payable and the moment you select responsibility name automatically system will enable responsibility checkbox you don't need to enable and you don't need to enter the name the moment you just select it will enable you see once again see here the checkbox is not enabled just enter it will select automatically say okay it will be enabled apart from these two checkbox apart from the checkbox we have two more checkboxes in the same window if you notice one is site other one is profile with no values now our requirement is we want to go and check we want to go and check how many profile options are assigned to this responsibility if you want to check how many how many profile options are assigned to this responsibility what you have to do is First, select your responsibility for which responsibility you want to check. Later, what you can do is uncheck the site, uncheck profile with no values. You have to uncheck these two checkboxes, site and profile with no values. Now click on find so that system will display how many profile options are assigned to this responsibility. Just click on find. Click on find how many profile options you can see for this responsibility. Three. One is HR security profile. The second one is HR business group. Third one is HR user type. Okay. So this HR user type we assign and HR security profile also we assign. When we assign HR security profile profile options to any responsibility, automatically system will assign HR business group to the same responsibility okay that is automation that's what already we discussed same proof you can see here the same way if you want to go and check for okay any other responsibility you can do that i'll just try for receivables just already these two check boxes we enabled sorry disabled then click on find for any responsibility you can find now three two manually we assign one system assigned automatically any questions so far on just these simple points what we discussed and what are the profile options we discussed whatever any questions on these please uh, i think i missed out the hr user type when we assigned we assigned in the previous classes not today maybe you just missed out those session may go through that uh, previous classes you can see that so what we did is we created uh, responsibilities after creating responsibilities we assigned hr user type profile option that clearly we written and we did that here right see for all these applications we create response then we set hr user type profile options to all the responsibilities to all responsibilities and later we created user we assigned all the responsibility to user that's what we did maybe you just you missed out that session you may just play with the play videos if you have any uh, doubt or any clarification you require you can you can keep in touch okay we're done with that so anyway that means these two profile options are assigned now only other profile option is mo security profile we'll go and assign okay business group to all responsibilities by using this mo security profile you will understand more detail level about these two profile options for now it's very clear for you okay with hr business group we have we, originally we assigned business group to responsibility and but we are treating with this three also we are doing the same take in that way with the three we are assigning why we are using this three and that all will come to know because separate futures are there which will talk about these separately at that time you can understand for now the simple statement you remember till we go on the touch actual point by using these three profile options we are assigning the bz2 responsibilities okay done 
these two profile options we assign to all the responsibilities so only the profile option left is a more secure profile we'll go and do it now the point you may take into your note okay assign business group to all the responsibilities by using a more security profile okay assign business group to all the responsibilities by using a more security profile profile option fine how to do that same process profile system which responsibility all responsibilities so just go one by one yeah petri accounts payable super user select here what is the profile option name mo security profile you can search from lov and you can find or else if you are very sure on the naming convention now you have to write any space or colons etc yes you can try directly okay mo security profile so here assign your business group to all responsibilities okay we'll talk on this very detail level when we reach that stage in this process of multi or just you have to set it up we'll talk on one by one this definitely we have to discuss okay fine <clears throat> so i'll select my business uh, business group selected so now say shift page up and change other responsibility your petri receivables save it your petri cash management just save it your petri so just I copied the business group name. I'm pasting every time. I'm not typing. Okay, shift page up. Your Petri general ledger. Paste and save it. Your Petri human resources. Save it. Your Petri inventory. Send and save it. Go with auto management. Oh, already be done. So your petri purchasing is left. That's it. Done. <clears throat> so we're done with this. We assign business group to all the responsibilities by using these three profile options done so when you look at your multi-org structure okay when you look at your multi-org structure so what is the next we done with the business group okay we created business group and we assign to all the responsibilities what is the next step so primary ledger creation the next step is primary ledger creation we know how to create the primary ledger okay just will go and see that so once again we are going to create the primary ledger and for that we'll create the calendar also it won't take much time hardly five minutes we can complete the calendar creation anyway we are going to create everything from our own responsibilities which we created we are not now we are not depending on the general ledger vision operations responsibility or something else which is created by oracle as a part of vision instance or demo instance now whatever we are creating everything we are creating our own environment this is how we'll be working we never use vision operations responsibility to create calendars to enable the currencies and to create the primary ledger now what we are doing that's how we'll be doing think there won't be any user called as operations user when you are working for the client there won't be any responsibility called as vision operations okay so go to general ledger responsibility and uh, first we'll create the calendar so you know navigation right the same navigation setup before that we have to create the period type first we have to create the period type then we'll create the accounting calendar let me write anyway even we know very well okay let me write that say create period type 
then say create accounting calendar please don't worry if you are just thinking about again unnecessarily we are doing second time okay let's do it okay set up financials sorry <clears throat> yep set up financials and calendar types this is the navigation okay set up financials calendar types already we created one time this is second time we are trying to do it so with what name we created we'll go and see okay with the erp tree and all that it was created now anyway just i'll create as a erp tree monthly here itself i'll give the, no okay, it's not taking no issues erp tree monthly i'll just make a note of this name also because there are some other names which are existed in existing in the system I may get confused when I'm trying to choose the period type, but for the reason I'm just taking the note here. So periods per year, let's go with one additional period called as adjusting. Total 13 we are taking. Generally it should be 12. I'm taking one additional called as adjusting. Now, whatever the example case we are taking, you are going to the as per case, we are going to do the implementation for Indian client. In that case, we have to select year type as fiscal because India finance year starts in one year and ends in the other year. In that case, we have to go with a year type as physical. If year is starting, finance year is starting and ending in the same year, in that case, we go with a calendar. Okay. So that's how we have to take. And here, description, I may take 13 for India. I may write some kind of information. Okay. Now for the definition, which may be useful. Then save it okay save it fine now you can close this period type is ready now we'll go and create the accounting calendar just open it I think earlier also we created with ERP of ERP accounting one we create one existed as ERP space ACC other one ERP tree without with space we have so now let's go and create as a ERP tree ACC 13 better I'll save it I'll make a note of it so this is uh, just exactly you can have to select at the time of primary ledger creation we know that so I mean right here here Petri accounting calendar for India with 13 periods okay now we know very well the same once again we are going to do it which is a very simple task so period prefix say apr the period type so already we have a note here erp tree monthly erp tree without space erp tree monthly i selected from drop down here just directly type and once you tab out it will take and what is the reporting year 2017 for current financial year it's going to end in the 2017 of march right so and falls into which quarter first quarter it's going to be first period within this financial year and i mean to say april so it starts with first april 7 16 right ends with a period april period starts with the first april 2016 this current financial year ends with 30th april 16 for this date range this name is not correct name should be april 16 this date range is belongs to april 16 but what system is doing the apr it is taking as a prefix and from the year suffix 17 it is taking as a suffix that's how it is creating we have to change it done then create may and to copy the above field to current field use shift f5 shift f5 here also use shift f5 so it's a very simple process quarter is one directly you can enter instead of going this shift f5 so number is two and here may when it starts first may 16 ends with 31st 
May 16. And the name should be May 2016, not 17. Then June, Shift F5, copy, above field data into current field, Shift F5. And this also falls into first quarter, third period, starts with the first June 16, ends with 30th June 16, name, the period name should be June 16 only. Then July, okay, Shift F5, Shift F5. Okay, depending on which laptop you are using, uh, that is all the shortcut also matter. If you are using a laptop like Lenovo, you can use uh, Shift F5. If you are using Dell, you have to use along with the Shift, always you have to hold the function key also. In that case, Shift function key, okay, uh, F5 you have to use. Hold Shift and F, F uh, function key. And these both tabs you have to hold and you have to press F5. That's how it will be copied. Now anyway, the period uh, quarter is second quarter, July. And uh, sorry, here I given wrong. Anyway, let me enter here just. It won't accept. Here it should be third, right? Nobody corrected. Fine. Fourth. You can help me if I'm doing some mistakes where you can find out. It's just... I entered three and uh, two only nobody helping me on that so first july because you know very well already we created you i hope you practiced also so first july ends with 31st july 16 the period name should be july 16 i'll go and change it third period this is then august shift f5 Shift F5 and second quarter, it's going to be fifth period. First August 16 ends with 31st August 16. The period name should be August 16. Then September, Shift F5, Shift F5, second and sixth period. 1st September 16 to ends with 30th September 16 and period name is September 16 October shift F5 just copy instead of entry above field data into current field and it fall into third quarter and period number is seventh period sequence 1st October 16th it starts with this date the period ends with 31st October 16. Okay, and now the period name should be October 16. Next period is November. Shift F5. Shift F5. It will copy the same. Third quarter and eighth period starts with 1st November 16. Ends with 30th number 16 already we discussed the system will follow the standard format but if you give in this short way it will automatically convert into actual format okay that's how they written the programming so done change to number 16 now the period is December shift f5 shift f5 third quarter ninth period first December 16 ends with 31st December 16 the period name should be December 16 go to next John shift F5 shift F5 and fourth quarter 10th period 1st John 16 and ends with 31st John 16 the name should be 17 only. I'm sorry, I just changed. 17 only. It's correct. Uh, sorry, here it should be. Right next year. 17. After December 1st, John 2017, 31st, the period name should be 17. Go to next row. Say Feb. Shift F5. Shift F5. 
fourth quarter 11th period and this is just first Feb 17 and ends with 28th Feb 17 period name is correct Feb 17 only in March shift F5 shift F5 to 17 and fourth quarter 12th period first it starts with the first March 17 ends with uh, 31st March 17 okay done so these are the 12 periods we created as per this period type okay we specified 13 so we have a scope up to 13 definitely will be using one additional period for adjust adjusting purpose where end of the year we can pass some adjustment entries so in separate period for tracking purpose so for that reason let's create one additional period called as adjusting period we'll just name it as adj march shift f5 you can copy the same shift f5 and reality doesn't belongs to any quarter but since we are taking in the last year ending year ending just here we can take into fourth quarter only the period number you can take 13 if you try with the 14 it won't work because we have a control in period type in the period type level the number of periods per year we given 13 only max it will allow 13 so 13 period and uh, it starts you can take any date range you may take with, uh, as a part of adjusting period from 1st March to 31st March or else you can go with the one week or two weeks or one day okay as a just a date range for adjusting periods okay I just want to go with the complete month so I'll say 1st March 17 to 31st March 17 okay done now this period is adjusting so already we discussed these all the points but just once again i want to touch very high level so when you try to complete the definition system will identify the dates are duplicating for the two periods two periods same date should not be there so if the period is adjusting period we have to specify that as a then system can understand and it will accept okay enable it then save this definition what are you created okay if you want to create for next year you know the process that also we discussed go to the next row and say april shift f5 here reporting it is 2018 first quarter first period it will accept that's how you will proceed here it will be changing to april 2018 okay so this is what just we have to understand fine done so now anyway later we'll create it anyway just uh, definitely there will be need of creating so done just save it after saving you can you just try to close it then system will trigger one concurrent program where this accounting calendar will be submitted to concurrent manager already discussed concurrent manager for validation purpose just click on close then say so do you want to validate the dis currently displayed calendar or all other calendar all your calendars no current one only only this one we want to submit for validation just say okay then request id is generated and you can go to view request just click on find so that is submitted to concurrent manager think concurrent manager is validating anywhere in any period any date range is wrong or some other all points the concurrent manager will verify if everything is fine this will be completed normal or else it will end with the warning so to complete it you may click on refresh it's an, uh, completed phase is completed status is normal so everything is fine with this calendar done next what we are what we have to do as a part of implementation we are doing how we have to do of course before doing this one one time we did already but that you can take as just uh, information now the actual process we are following after creating period type and accounting calendar we have to enable the currency enable currency or currencies we may enable multiple currencies same time one currency for our ledger other currencies may be for foreign currency transactions but primarily one 
how many ledgers you are creating the ledgers are going to be maintained in the system in, in which currency all currencies we can enable as per our current case one currency is enough that is INR so the navigation to enable the currencies another point already we discussed we no need to create any currencies we no need to create any currencies in any instance for any country all the currencies are predefined whatever predefined in the system simply we call as seeded all currencies are seeded in the environment okay in any environment so just we have to go and enable which currency we require so set up and go to currencies say so define just find currency which currency you want to enable click on find just type INR IN it will fetch automatically and make sure that the checkbox is enabled when you are working by default it will be in the disable mode we have to enable it enable and save it completed now what is the next step the next step is we have to create the chart of accounts as a part of chart of account creation multiple steps are involved already we discussed that very detail level now just I'll take this point as very high level create chart of accounts COA okay create chart of accounts As a part of chart of accounts creation, we know first we'll create the structure within that we'll create segments and we'll create the value sets and value sets will be assigning to the um, specific segments. That's how we'll be dealing. Okay, right. So the same we are going to do now. We'll create the chart of accounts and when we, I mean, just we'll go with the chart of accounts with uh, more segments now. Just for our testing, we gone with the only gone through only three segments definition. Now what we'll do is we'll create the seg chart of accounts with few more segments. Say what we'll do is say we'll create one segment called as company. We'll take as one segment. Other one you can take department. Instead of writing as department, you can write simply as a cost center also, or else you can write department. Anything you can take. Department normally treated as a cost center. So department and say account. If your company is dealing with some sort of projects where internally they do some internal project or for external clients some project related work they do where they want to capture the transaction belongs to which project in that case you may have one segment called as project okay and here what happens you know like uh, we can create max 30 segments already we discussed okay we can create max 30 segments so you can create 30 segments but that you have to decide and finalize okay before you start creating the chart of accounts after creating the chart of accounts you can go and add additional segments at any point of time but that will disturb everything we should not do that remember that point once we start using the chart of accounts okay we should not go and add additional segments even system is accepting that will create many issues for the entire data what we have within the ledger so that is the reason we have to be very careful when we are doing the implementation we have to design and we have to finalize the chart of accounts as per the business requirement okay say here for the transaction which they'll be recording those are specific to company the company may be referred as entity or else it can be just some branch name whatever it may be what level they want to balance the transaction that level or just you can have a balancing segment uh, flex field qualifier assignment now generally we go with the company Okay, sometimes instead of calling it as company, you may name it as entity also. Okay, entity and department. You can see department sometimes you can see in some real time chart of accounts when you are working or already which are existed as a cost center. And the same way you can see uh, account definitely the account should be there. And if they are dealing with some projects, if they have kind of practice of doing, uh, I mean, more project driven. Uh, as an organization definitely they'll have a separate solution called as a project accounting applications or project suit as a part of solution if they are not dealing too many projects or many transactions maybe to track very rare project related transactions they may have a segment called as project also as a part of chart of accounts and say for example we are going to finalize the chart of account with this four segments but there could be need of 
okay extending adding new segments into your chart of accounts say you are running the business okay you just some there is some business expansion done and you want to capture some additional key information because the company department account project is you can say key information so all the information you can get into i mean you may want to track as a uh, what i can say transaction in that case this four may not be enough you may require something else so in that case if you are not planning for those segments which are required in future you cannot add it you cannot add it again if you want to add that should be done as a separate uh, activity of separate project also okay so that that will create many issues that is the reason what we do is when you are doing the implementation for any client we'll sit and we'll discuss very detail level there will be when, when i talk about real time at the time i'll show you that a uh, few really implemented chart of account structures and what base and why we implemented in that way i'll show you that but try to understand the concept here now so in future we may need some additional segments for that we have to keep some buffer for that reason what we do is general will create segments called as future 1 and future 2 future 1 and future 2 this is i will keep and in future if they have a need of including some lob line of business as a part of this uh, chart of accounts just simply they will be changing the name anyway segment is existed but naming convention we given as a future one now just we are changing to the actual name how we require that future one anyway the future one and two are buffer segments which can be used in the future by targeting the future requirements only we are keeping some additional segments i can change in future to some other name and require uh, if i need one more segment also okay what data i want to track here in each and every transaction that also I can change to future two. I may just change to this as a two location. Okay, future two I can change to location. This I may change to LOB in future. Okay, that's how you can change. But for now, let's go with this future one and future two only. Okay, future two. Okay, what base will decide the chart of accounts? Okay, what are the key factors will drive to design the best chart of accounts? Means it's always your internal and external reporting requirements. And when we are designing the chart of accounts, we have to consider we have to consider that point, the growth of uh, future growth of the business. So we have to consider that point. That is the reason we have to go with the some additional buffer segments called as future one and future two. Otherwise, just you, as of now, what are the client process they are following and what are the requirement they have according to minus the first four segments request you all to mute i think somebody muted okay fine good finally i just muted from my end <clears throat> fine so that's how you have to plan Okay, that's how you have to plan and you have to keep some buffer segments. I'll, I'll show you that uh, the real time project, few chart of account structures, at least for three to four implementations, how we designed and all. I'll take you through that. That anyway, we have a real time classes at the time. I'll take through the, I'll take you through. Now, if I start explaining, it, it will, your understanding and your thinking goes in the different way. Okay, so I'll, I'll take you through for sure. Okay, done. So this is a chart of accounts we are going to create now. So let's go and do it in the system. Okay. First, we have to create the structure, right? We have to create the structure first. So just go to chart of account structure. So we know the navigation to create the chart of account structure. Same navigation, whatever we just uh, did the last time. Same navigation we have to take once again. Setup, financials, flex fields key flex fields key and segments okay segments and here click on find so chart of accounts you can create by using the accounting flex field the actual name is accounting key flex field already we discussed that we have as a part of general ledger so search for general ledger yes we have within the general ledger we have flex field called as accounting flex field you select it and uh, what we created earlier just we'll see that name we given erp right erp3 i'll just now i'm going to change the name that the display name i'm changing so that 
when we create our own now there won't be an issue okay just i'm changing since already we use that again i we want to use the same i am just changing that's all i can change any time this display name code i cannot change but display name i can change wherever you go on when you are creating the primary ledger basically you see that uh, name only title only it, it will get displayed so now we let's go and create another i'll give now the name code as erp3 mm chart of account structure erp3 chart of accounts tab out it will take the same name but you have to change to the proper naming format so say erp3 chart of account chart of account structure it's not accepting more than those characters okay enough okay erp3 chart of accounts i may write in the description as a chart of account structure done okay the view name you no need to enter if you try with your for your practice and all it will end with error if you create without space not required ignore it then save we created chart of account structure within that we have to create the segments okay these are the segments we are going to create so click on segments tab just enter one by one company first segment is company Okay. Or you may enter as an entity. Sometimes, for each business, say for example, client is doing the uh, three businesses. Three businesses they have a three registrations, and again three businesses they are doing in one location. In that case, so the operating unit and legal entity will be al almost same. In that case. you can create have a segment called as a legal entity also the legal entity only you can make as a balancing segment balancing segment flex field qualifier you can assign and you can do that okay anyway these will take as a part of the real uh, type discussions now let's go with what we discussed and what we plan to do okay just give the name segment name once you tab out it will copy as window prompt window prompt is nothing but display name when we are going to create the journal or anything when when we try to select the code combination their name what it will display that only we call as a window prompt this name only it will come if i give here erp company it will get displayed as erp company we never give like this the so what name you are giving you just accept it don't change here not not all required in any case you should not i do which company the company is which company there is no meaning if you are going to give like that anyway and the company which companies those all will be having as values you don't need to give the label name window prompt okay Here segment is going to be segment one. You can type any way that value we have within the LOV. It will fetch, and that's how we are going to create all the segments here. Second segment, and here what we planned: department, department, segment two, third segment, account. segment 3 the fourth segment say i'm taking project and here i'll say segment 4 and fifth segment say future one later whenever you need additional segment apart from this four that you can use in the place of future one you can just update the name accordingly you can maintain the segment values and you can use it it's going to be segment fifth segment in our chart of accounts sorry and the sixth future two segment six save it now we'll go and create the value set on value set so we'll see what value sets we have with erp so this is all we have like i'll change these names so that we can 
abc i'll change to abc so that we can use those names for our chart of account structure find we have account also the same just i'm changing existing i'm changing so that system will allow me to create uh, value sets with our design name or already existed we are modifying just change to abc now there is no value set in the system with erp3 that's it okay just go to value set but when you are practicing you can go with a different name initially for testing up to primary ledger journal creation you may use one name yet you can go with a separate name but i want to use the same naming convention as erp that is the, that is the reason existing i'm changing that's all so now here we'll create the uh, value sets here petri company and here a maximum size i want to give four and enable write justify and zero fill numbers and to notice validation type is independent okay and just place the cursor here click on new here petri department okay so <clears throat> when you are working on gl we'll be working on gl at the time here uh, security type and i'll take you through all these what are the list type values all these values what is the meaning of that and what are the format types what are these options and what are the different validation types i'll take you through that by that time you'll be having good experience with the application if i'm going to explain it will be easy for you to understand so at that time i'll explain you for now let's go with the basic definition of value set so department i am taking four and say right justify on the zero fill number save it place cursor click on new your p3 account segment and say four enable the checkbox and save it place cursor here click on new so other segment we need is your p3 project segment just see here here i'm for everything i'm giving for but when you are working that will be decided anyway it's just when you when i take the real uh, chart of accounts at the time you can see and we can talk on that okay just save it and two more value sets we require even if you don't enter values since those are two segments future one and future two segments are part of chart of accounts you should assign a value sets also okay click on new Say ERP three future one, and I'm just giving four by assuming uh, we don't need more than four uh, maximum size. Whatever the segment you are going to have, save it. Press cursor, click on new ERP three future two. The maximum size I'm taking four and enable the checkbox and save it. Done. We created value sets. Now we are going to assign the value set. We completed all these tasks one time. This is the second time we are doing. So we are not talking on this more and more since we know very well. Okay. So say here here Petri company here Petri department here Petri account here Petri project here Petri future one erp3 future two okay so just save it now anyway we are going to create the companies depart for company department account project for all these segments we are going to create the segment values so here we have one uh, value set for account called as erp3 account so in this we have to maintain many accounts when you are working on the multi or and will be working on all the different applications when you are doing the setups for those applications and when you are working on the process we need many accounts now the current environment is vision instance so in the vision instance we have one value set where we have all the accounts uh, where we have all the accounts which are required for entire multi or 
so instead of using our erp3 account value set i want to assign that value set to our account segment so that we'll have all the accounts under our account segment but when you are working in real time you won't find any operation or value set which is uh, already available in this environment we have to create all the values to create values normally the manual process we have but generally we don't use it we'll be loading we'll be loading those values into the system by using the tools like uh, data loader tools we'll be having by using the tools we'll be loading the values information to system but for now what i'm going to do is instead of creating the many account values you know how to create the values for even account also we just uh, tested in the previous classes right so we created cash account and we given type okay allow budgeting allow posting by default yes and account type we are selecting relevant the same process we have to follow hope you are clear on that so now what i'm going to do is in which value set we have many account values which are required for our entire training process that value set i am going to select which is already available within this environment that value set name is operations account that's it so when you are practicing you also please use it otherwise what you have to do is what are the accounts you require again you have to go and create not required just use it everything will be available when you are working for any client definitely we have to just keep ready all those into what are the value set we create then i just oh, just i'm changing the value set any questions we have here please why i'm changing what exists some something else if you have any questions please if you have any doubt or any clarity please any questions here uh, as part of real time implementation are you going to show how the data is loading through data loader or Mm, how to load that if you want to print plan for that okay i'll include that i'll include i'll show you how to load it's a simple process anyway okay. i'll take it okay fine any other questions any any doubt or any clarifications here uh, uh, lakshman i have doubt actually uh, for the company segment uh, segment uh, value set uh, we are uh, giving a flex field qualifier like uh, balancing right for accounts we are, we are giving natural accounts uh, flex field qualifier Correct. in this case uh, we, are, we are taking uh, operation accounts right it will take uh, automatically that uh, flex field qualifier or uh, we have to give we assign flex field qualifiers to what you can answer please yeah yeah to accounts and uh, company right mandatory flex field qualifiers what what are the company and accounts are what uh, company and uh, segments exactly we are assigning to segments not to value set okay yeah yeah that's it when we assign to segment for that segment what is the value set we assign the qualifiers whatever you are assigning those will get applicable on those value set related values that's it that's how it works we are not at all assigning to okay. value sets okay yep done any other questions uh, so basically the value sets are decides uh, the range of the values which we are going to enter right yeah yeah just, just but these value sets like containers for the values value sets will hold the values which are mapped with segments any other questions A any any sort of question it, you may think it's, it's nothing i don't see any meaning in that question i should not ask you don't need to hide any question you can ask me any type of question for your better understanding i'm just happy to answer this end of the day you need clarity on that that's very important for me also so any questions please yeah, not at this point but you know in the next step probably you can explain us in a rule of group and how to print those values when we create the values. No, that that will be there. That will I said I'll be showing. <laughs> I'll be showing. Okay, I'll include in this course. No issues. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, Lakshman. Yep. Instead of a uh, uh, um, um, value set like a uh, account value set, we are taking an operation account value set, right? Mm -hmm. Why you are taking this? Uh, we are taking this operation account value set. within this operation account value set we have all accounts are already created 
Okay. Got it, right? In previous yeah. classes for company department account, we created our own values, right? In account value set, I think we created return earnings account, some expense account, cash account, right? Yeah. But now as a part of multi-org, we need many accounts. Many accounts we need, mm -hmm. we have to create all those. Instead of creating, this is anyway test environment, right? You can use this value set where you can avoid that definition. But anyway, I'll be showing in real time how we'll be loading. Okay. Yep. Fine. Any other questions? Uh, Lakshman? Uh, Lakshman, uh, can you explain uh, why one point here? Disabled and enabled checkbox. Sorry? Uh, disabled and enabled checkbox. Uh, what it indicates? Okay. <clears throat> so, the segment you may keep as enabled as a part of the structure, but if you don't want to display, you can just uh, disable the display so that when you are recording the transactions, it won't get displayed to enter the transaction. See, I just have a company department account earlier example. Already we tested by passing the journal. But department, I don't want to display. Okay, department, I don't want to display when user is going to enter the transaction. In that case, system will display only if you have segments company department account. The department won't get displayed. But think normally we don't use those practices. Okay, whatever really we require, those only will uh, finalize and will define whatever we have just will be using it but those the meaning of that the meaning is even if you have as some one segment as a part of chart of accounts if you want to hide that display when you are recording the transaction you can just uh, disable that display so that it won't come in the display okay so that's how it works got the point can thank you it may be part of chart of accounts only you can just display that remove that that's all but normally just don't think uh, we we will have all these practices normally we don't do when we are using so whatever required we'll finalize and we'll be using in that way okay if when we are uh, if you don't need some segments segment what we do is normally we'll provide some dummy value just will be filling in every transaction we can set some default value also if i'm entering the transaction say for example and anyway that also i'll be showing say take example project project in every transaction may not belongs to some project which you do internally uh, for your customers or whatever rarely so in that case we'll put all the time system has to take double zero double zero for the project value that's how you can set as default that's how normally we'll be managing in stuff uh, disabling and uh, just removing the display when you are recording the transactions. Yeah, please, somebody is trying to ask some question, I guess. Yeah, uh, value set, you said uh, you have mentioned operations account, right? Correct. So while in real time, we are going to upload the data from other sources. So what are those other sources we are, which we are going to consider? See, simple. When you are working, just now we created value set, right? In the same way we will create our value set, ERP3 account, In the same way we will create and we will take all the accounts information into data loader that is a popular tool which we use to load the chart of accounts account information into system data loader by using the data loader tool data loader sheets will be there within that just it will be similar to spreadsheet sheets only we'll put all the data into that sheet and we'll connect that uh, data loader to the instance and will run everything and it automatically it will load in fraction of uh, seconds or say just hardly if you have a large volume of the data maybe within one minute or two minutes it will load it that's how it works you can take from any source I'm talking but talking about values sorry uh, not the no, not the raw data i'm talking about i'm talking about the values values like uh, operations they already defined values are there like if you take p and l account already structure is made I got it. So, that's a, so, yeah. so these all accounts will take from the client throughout their business operations, which accounts they'll be using in the different different departments, say across the departments, all will be asking them to provide for that we will give one format of the sheet, you may give the format in the spreadsheet, there they'll fill with all the data, the data they'll be giving that will move to that uh, data loader spreadsheet from there will be loading. Are you looking for this or something else? Got it, got it, got it. Thank yep. you. Yeah. Fine. <clears throat>
so I, i'll show you the real time chart of account even i'll show you that how the client will give the data i'll give you all the information fine any other questions lakshman was more uh one second please see. you mean to say see you want to say lakshman i have doubt or something else please don't mind straight away you can ask the question you know you tend to do yourself or else you know okay, okay okay anyway if you are speaking definitely uh, right so in this meeting please yeah, yeah okay 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 uh, my question is uh, account category will remain same for all segments but segments may change is it right sorry you mean to say account category means accounts may uh, for all segments will be same but segments may change but account w- won't change yeah yeah see if you are doing some sales computer sales your account will be computer sales only think every company should have a segment called as account rest of segments can be changed but account segment should be there other side definitely company sometimes instead of writing company you may write as entity you may write as legal entity think these are very primary segments in any business company department account rest can be changed sometimes instead of writing department you can write as cost center instead of writing company you can write something else but think always the company segment will be there what are the different business operations client is doing to represent each and every transaction to capture the specific transaction related or say event related balances amounts we should have a relevant account that is always fixed account segment and the segment values you cannot say that depends on nature of business they'll have a different accounts please any is it clear or something else you are trying to convey or ask please i should have one i'm doing that uh, for example company is there tata company tata steel like that yep. uh, but for sales revenue like that the categories will be same even though the company segments uh, oh. may vary yeah yeah see see yeah see under company you may have 10 companies okay and all the 10 companies related business operation related accounts all will maintain same value set Ten companies we may have, but all companies which accounts they require, all will maintain within one value set only. Since the ten companies we are going to have as a part of the same chart of accounts. Got it. Yeah, that's it. All you can have in one value set. Fine. Any other questions? So now we'll go and assign the. qualifiers for company we have to assign say balancing will let's assign this for account natural account so generally for department will assign the cost center that can be that uh, you can see that when you are working on the fixed assets at that time i'll talk on just help adding this okay for now just you can ignore that not required so for company and account we assign mandatory flex fill qualifiers then close it and we have to freeze it and now anyway you know why we have to enable allow dynamic inserts when you create the primary ledger there you have to provide a return earnings account as a mandatory that is the reason or any any other code combinations you want to enter by using the chart of accounts you require allow dynamic inserts if you don't enable you cannot enter any code combination by using this chart of accounts where the chart of account will be part of ledger so that is the reason we have to enable we know all this purpose so now it now itself i am enabling and our practicing also you can go with the same process once you complete the chart of account definition then and there you can enable it you no need to wait to create primary ledger just for our understanding purpose i taken in that way Okay, then now we can just compile it. Then, you know, it will be running a request. And the concurrent manager will be validating the chart of account structure which we created.
okay now the next step is we have to create segment values you know right let's go and create few values okay the navigation is same and uh, the function name is different that's it values navigation same set up financial flex field key instead of going with segment just select value set as a function here also you can see the same navigation you know this process very well so just go to value set and instead of going this detail navigation simply you can go with the value set okay select value set and here i'll say your petri oh i think okay we don't have any permissions for this right so we know like uh, to create the segment values the user should have a privileges the previous session that we covered so now this we are using the new user so whatever we created segment values we created from operations user the current user is erp3 right erp3 user doesn't have any privileges to create the segment values so in that case we can create the you can set the privileges to this user to create the segment values from user management responsibility or say that is application name also other side now we don't have access to user management user management responsibility access you can have from sysadmin user which is serial user which you can see in every instance so just sign out from the current user and log into the instance as a sysadmin user sysadmin sysadmin username is sysadmin password also sysadmin by default when you are working if the password is different to only the option is you have to contact with your dba database administrator who will be installing this product and will be taking care of the maintenance and the security aspects We'll talk those points also who will be part of the project what role who will be playing etc etc we'll talk here the responsibility which we need is user management this is a web application okay self-service pages you can have so here you can go with the users just expand user management select users and uh, search with the username your petri click on go okay just click on update we know this process already we did one time this is second time we are doing now for this user see all responsibilities are uh, already we assigned from the sysadmin right we created user we assigned the same system is displaying so along with that we want to assign additional roles here just click on assign roles which role will allow this user to perform the okay this value uh, segment values so search with this term flex means flex field related segment values here you can see the role name as flex field value set security all privileges that allows you if you assign this role to this user this user can create the segment values to segment values uh, to uh, all the value sets where any value set user can create just select it so that means we are assigning okay we assigned now you can just say apply sorry the justification is mandatory how to write it I'll write as value set security. We are giving the security to values value set. Just click on apply. Just complete it. Now you can sign out from the current user. You can log into the instance with our user. Your Petri, your password as well. Click on login. Now, system will allow us to create the 
segment values through value sets so go to the same navigation go to general ledger responsibility so just expand and click on any one of the function just close this journal related form and to create the value set navigation is setup financials flex fields key segments so when you talk about flex field basically we have two type of flex field don't take this point I'll, there is time to discuss on those flex fields and uh, flex uh, key flex fields and descriptive flex field what is the purpose how those are different how we can use everything we'll be discussing for now we are working on key flex field but the difference and everything we'll discuss later okay so the navigation to create the values is values right set of financial flex field key values now for which value set you want to create the values select value set i'll just want to create for erp3 company so this user has a permission so that is the reason you are able to see here so erp3 company click on select click on find here you can create all the companies just i may give the name as one so automatic system is taking three digits left side that's what we enable the checkbox right so i'll say here petri trainings you just i may give this name as your petri.com trainings so when you create the segment values we have to assign the qualifiers which qualifiers we have to assign anyone please uh, segment qualifiers segment qualifiers we need to assign yeah. we have to assign the segment qualifiers for segments we assign flex field qualifiers but for segments segment values we have to assign segment qualifiers to assign just select this tab value hierarchy qualifiers just place the cursor here and by default it will take allow budgeting allow posting just say okay so in the last session previous session we tested by just creating the journal when we were trying to post the journal with the, some company for which company we, when we are, when we created journal we selected a company when you try to post it system allowed us to post the reason is for that company allow posting we set to yes if you set allow posting to no with this company if you create the journal that cannot be posted that is nothing but control we are setting okay generally for every if you have if you are going to have a company definitely the purpose is to have a transaction sign is that ideally will give us a yes only when we when we work on budgeting we'll talk on this say okay nothing just say company two say consulting and just place cursor here say okay just three erp3.com and say development just provide some values to maintain few companies here done then save it now just you can and here see here we have a window from window you can just go back to the find value set window stop closing and again opening you can just go to windows from here you can go to find value set here you can change the value set your p3 company we created will create for departments click on find and here you can enter all departments one i given and here i'll give the description as finance department you have to send the qualifiers place cursor here say okay and the second one say HR, say okay and third say sales fourth marketing so okay, done 
okay enough these four departments are enough for uh, just testing and go to window and click on find value set change value set here Petri account for this value set so okay for this sorry this value set we didn't use right we used value set called as operations account so this value set we assign to our account segment okay account segment what values we have within this we'll see click on find you see many accounts are there within this so these all accounts we have these all may not be all many accounts we require from this list so instead of creating one by one we just create it like this if you want to get more information like which account is what type and all if you want to understand what you can do is once you get into the operations account here you can just okay don't keep like this go to this tab go to values hierarchy qualifier then only you can see the qualifiers after opening this now place the cursor here and uh, export all these records into spreadsheet just go to file and say export export all these accounts into spreadsheet you may just spend some time to go through it what is the nature of account what type so you can have a better understanding on accounts so which account is what type whether expense or revenue or asset liability or ownership how those are there in the system which is a real standard classification we have to do so click on continue we have many records so the system is asking do you want to export other values also more than hundred or thousand it's so exporting into a spreadsheet okay just say open so see here the same exported you can see for each account account number and the description all the accounts and which type of accounts these all are asset related accounts liability related account ownership accounts revenue accounts and expense accounts you just you can go through it for your information that's all but anyway when we are working you can see which accounts we are using based on that you may go and refer okay so this is just a simple point here right. done so anyway within this operation account value set we have all accounts which we require so now just go to find value set and we have other value sets called say projects we have click on find we'll say EBS projects qualifier say okay and two I'll give us fusion projects just I'm giving some sample naming convention the reality they'll go with very detailed naming convention if they have a case where they have a segment called as projects how many projects they are dealing and all they'll maintain and whenever they do new project the same value they'll be adding here and accordingly they'll be tracking the transactions and sometimes all the times the project may not be applicable for the transaction okay if I'm buying some if I'm spending something for some department that may may not be related to project so in that case there should be some value to specify for that I'm giving okay double zero double zero I'll say this is just default value I'll say I'll say it's not applicable anything you can write not applicable you can write or else you can say default since qualifiers are mandatory you can select it if I'm recording any transaction project is not mandatory value project is not required in that case you should specify otherwise system won't accept so that's the reason just I'm providing some default value some dummy value as a double zero double zero this I can use it save it go to find value set here you have a other segment called as other value set called as ERP3 future one and two I'm selecting future one here also I'll put some dummy values so I put zero it will fill with all the zeros only here I'll say this also not applicable or else default anything you can write default value just select qualifier say okay enough one value is enough once you finalize with actual name then you can add relevant values then go to window and find value set here so here Petri 
future to select and click on fine here also i'll give one default value zero i'll write as a default and uh, say in the qualifier say okay create it now close it okay <clears throat> So we're done with this setups created accounting calendar we enable currency we create a chart of accounts anyway accounting method is there as a part of a product as a standard one the same will be using now what we'll do is let's go and create the primary ledger so create primary ledger create primary ledger so we know to create the primary ledger what is the navigation process everything same we are going to do it once again and before that we have the primary ledger with the same name i'll just go and change to other name so that system will allow us to create with the same name otherwise it will become duplication as we know so here what is our primary ledger name here p3 right so already it's existed so if you want to change the name click on this edit find and edit and uh, just click on edit and I'll change to ABC I'll change here ABC now there is no primary ledger in our system with ERP tree okay the legal entity just here you cannot uh, just is already just as a mapping and all done and you cannot go on to change from this place so you cannot do anything just leave it no problem will legal entity will just somehow will manage with us slight different naming convention okay then now anyway we don't have any primary ledger with the same erp3 name now we can go ahead and we can create the primary ledger with the same name erp3 okay so to create the primary ledger we know the process same we are going to do it once again just click on create accounting setup and if you want to create the legal entity before primary ledger yes you can create by clicking on create legal entity from here you can create but in earlier we tried we did from this under this tab but from here also you can create but i don't want to create legal entity first so in that case you can click on next so here you can give the name crp3 sorry india primary ledger chart of accounts erp3 chart of accounts accounting calendar erp3 without space that's what we made a note also here right erp3 without space account acc 13 the same we have here for information i taken so this is the exact name we are not selecting something else currency inr there's no need to define it's already enabled so it will be available here sub ledger accounting method standard this what exactly mean what is the purpose of the sub ledger accounting once you start recording the transactions in purchasing and payables i'll explain you this point there you can understand not from here okay so but as of now remember within that there will be accounting rules okay we'll have a accounting rules which need to be followed uh, as per accounting standards that's all so i given the name i selected chart of accounts accounting calendar currency and the sub ledger accounting method now you can just click on next and you can say finish your yes, system is asking for the confirmation whatever we selected as a part of primary ledger everything fine or not the why there are reason is once you create primary ledger you cannot change calendar or currency or chart of accounts only you can change the accounting method so that is the reason you have to make sure that you selected proper values then click on finish okay now here if you click on return to accounting setup you'll go to this function accounting setup manager home page and if you want to set the return earnings account you can click on this anyway we have to set the return earnings account as a mandatory account after creating ledger so just click on define accounting options so here we have a this update icon right just click on this update icon so we know if you get this error and all what we have to do just we have to go and to recompile the chart of account structure again you have to compile that just we are calling us we have to recompile
just place cursor here click on find type ERP so this is the ERP tree chart of accounts we have so what you can do is compile once again one time is enough if you want just you can submit once again nothing wrong okay now I'll just close this form again I'll connect because the if we are trying from there it may not take the updates so just better you can close and you can again connect to the same page set up financials accounting setup manager accounting setups so just now we created ledger called as ERP tree that you can search and you can find the status you can see as incomplete right in progress click on update and as we tried earlier the same way just click click on again update then click on next here you have to provide the return earnings account so we have a I think uh, three six segments the same you can see here so company selecting rp3.com trainings department so select department any one of the department here only the key point is you have to select account as returned earnings account rest of any company any department any project any value you can select there won't be an issue the system will calculate the return earnings based on the real transaction which are existed within this ledger okay it is not looking at which account which department selected at primary lecture level no as a mandatory the account need to be provided along with that since the segments also mandatory we have to select so as per operations account for return earnings is double three one zero I'm searching for that select So here project is not applicable so i'm taking double zero double zero yeah these also there's no just a real value so i'll select this dummy values only just default values instead of calling dummy just say default values then click on create so system created code combination select and select done now click on next the advanced options we don't need to set now when we're working on budgets and all at the time we'll see all this now again click on next then say finish so primary ledger is created okay now we have to create the legal entity right this is actual process we follow create legal entity we know the process right after creating legal entity say assign legal entity to primary ledger then within the primary ledger what are the balance and segment values we have those we have to assign to legal entity assign balance and segment value in short we call as bsv assign balance segment values to legal entity maybe one or multiple legal entities depending on your business will be assigned okay then <coughs> So we'll go and create the legal entity. Say so just click on add legal entity. Click on again add legal entity. I'm sorry. So we didn't create, right? I'm sorry for that. So we didn't create. So we have to create it. Just go to legal entities. For creating, we have to assign, right? That's what we I just given a note. First we have to create, then you can assign. So go to this legal entities tab. And say create legal entity. Okay. So for which country? India. 
legal entity name so already with this name it is existed okay I'll give the name as urpt.com India legal entity I'll give it in this way I'll give the company name as urpetry India private limited I'll just put some dot here and just enter registration number and the company PAN number and in case of imports exports you may enter these numbers and all not required <coughs> and here you can create the new address just select create new address and I may just give already be given as ERP3 already we have address the same address you can choose if you want I'll write as ERP Hyderabad So number you can enter so it's not mandatory how to enter everything if uh, real definition means yes you can provide information how required just I'll say Hyderabad and the other value is fine and I may just specify the currency okay done then you can say apply if you come across with any error and all just try to change the values that's how it will work so yes I got error that means I have to change this stuff similar definitions are available India Hyderabad Here I may not keep Hyderabad, India HYD. Just try to apply and see. Still same error. Maybe it is just matching. ERP India Limited. Something just you can try it. Try to change the information. That's all. Just click on apply. Still, we have some issue with that. Uh, Lakshman, the best way is better to use the existing address. Uh, anyway, we know how to create the address. Correct, correct, of course. So that is there, but uh, let's try to do that. If somebody is just new to this today's session, I just want to include that also. That's what I'm trying. Okay, we'll do that. If finally, if it's not working, just we'll try for this. If it's not working, I'll do in that one. Okay, just let me try now. The same issue, plan number, I'll see. Yeah, Lakshman. Yeah. Legal entity name, I think, uh, previous one, I think. No, previous name is erpt.com, I mentioned. So it has to be identified as unique. And we'll see. Just yes, definitely. That's what we discussed, right? When you are creating, it will identify the duplication. If it is very close to existing, it won't give. It's not mandatory. It has to be same. Even if it's very close to that, it will restrict. Hmm. I'll just create as ERP India legal entity. Let's try. Same issue. If I know issues. Oh, let me try with that also. ABC location. XYZ location. ABC city so apply 
so no luck has uh, some lot of duplication seems to no issues we'll use this okay just i'm trying if, if this can happen like it will be some information for someone so erp3 this is how just we given i think erp3 hyderabad we given so city address line one i think we given as a erp3 just try with this Just put what we given. Yep. Select and select. <clears throat> okay. Then just say apply. So legal entity name we given as ERP India. Okay. Just make a note. <clears throat> Sorry. So we're done with this. Now we'll go and assign this legal entity to our primary ledger. So first you find primary ledger. Click on go, click on edit, and here just say add legal entity. The same process we are doing once again, so I'm going a little fast here. So search for your legal entity, ERP India. This is the naming convention we given. Select, select, say apply. Now we assigned the uh, legal entry to primary ledger. Within the primary ledger, what are the balance and segment values we have? Those we have to assign to legal entity. So just click on update balance segment values. Click on add balance segment value. Click on go. It will display all. And you may select, uh, click on this select all. It will get selected. Then say select. Then click on apply. After completing this, to complete the entire primary ledger definition, you have to click on complete. Say yes. Return document is set up. Now you can see the status of our ledger is completed. Now what we have to do is, so we're done with this all these activities. Now say assign <coughs> primary ledger to all responsibilities. Assign primary ledger to all responsibilities. Okay, assign primary ledger to all responsibilities. This primary ledger is required in which application to record the business transactions for all those applications. So definitely in every application we should record the transactions. For that always we use primary ledger only. With that reason we have to assign the primary ledger to all responsibilities. And you know the navigation, right? Oh, sorry, you know the process. Okay, the process is we have to go and assign this primary ledger to responsible by using the which profile option gl ledger name okay the same will just follow and we'll do it but we have to assign to the we assign primary ledger to all responsibilities this is a point we have to understand by using the same profile option let's go and do it so just switch to sysadmin i mean system administrator simply you can call it sysadmin responsibility and say profile system you can take the point as assign primary ledger to all the responsibilities. So say ERP3, select responsibility and the profile option name is, we know, GL ledger name. Then click on find and select your primary ledger, ERP3 India primary ledger. I'm just copying the same name, shift page up change the responsibility and assign simple erp3 receivables and assign erp3 cash management super user just assign done erp3 fix results assign ERP3 general ledger assign shift page up ERP3 human resource super user shift page up ERP3 inventory super user responsibility assign ERP3 
order management erp3 purchase in super user done so we assign primary ledger to all the responsibilities i'm closing now anyone tell me how many profile options we assign to any responsible because for all the responsible equal profile option we assign i'll take simple example tell me anyone how many profile options totally assigned to the responsibility by us or by system whatever it may be total manual process or automatic process how many anyone we, we assign for total four four profile options sure hr user five. Five. hr security profile total five profile options assigned the first no no four hr user type five later five. 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 profile options related to business group the current one Sorry, is five. two one right five we assign we are sure on that right so whether we are system as per our knowledge five are assigned now we'll go and check how many profile options are assigned to this responsibility uncheck site uncheck profile with no value just click on find see how many are there we can find how many seven right what are the additional profile options gl ledger id gl data access these are the additional profile option the moment you assign gl ledger name to any responsibility automatically system will assign ledger id to the same responsibility what is the meaning of that for every ledger what we create system will create the id for the ledger so that id also system will assign automatically that is that's how they are written the programming okay so just id will get assigned and what is the data access set and all this you can understand when we are working on detailed functionality of general ledger now you don't need to focus on this okay just notice what system is doing that's it we have enough time to come up with all these respective functions and all this is a purely separate future within the general ledger why it is assigning i'll explain you when you are working on gl but notice this that's what i am showing okay when you assign the gl ledger name along with that it will assign two more profile options one is gl ledger id it will assign automatically and by using gl data access set it will assign our primary ledger to responsibility whether this is a primary ledger or something else there are some points we'll discuss when you are working on gl now if i touch this point great confusion you will get so that's the reason i don't want to trouble you by giving unnecessary information unnecessary time okay we'll find the right time and we'll discuss okay in wrong time i should not explain so that's that's the reason now just try to understand this point okay I'll, when you are saying the gl ledger name profile option automatically system will assign two more profile options those are one is gl ledger id the other one is gl data access profile option that's all so we done up to this okay and when you look at this multi org structure we done with the business group and we created primary ledger legal entity also we created and we assigned we assigned primary ledger means for primary ledger already legal entities we created and assigned to primary ledger that is also there that means we covered up to here now the next step is we have to create the operating units and inventory org so that our multi org environment will be ready so that we can start working on one by one application before that we have to do the setups what setups required to work on particular application anyway we will see that one by one so up to here we completed okay you look at the multi org structure these three levels we completed bz we completed primary ledger legal entities all we completed only the pending uh, multi org organization units are operating unit and inventory uh, operating is very very important it's a very primary when you are working on applications which we call as sub ledgers it can be ap or ar and po om many other applications okay fine so based on today's session or the previous sessions or this multi or concept or when you are practicing in the system whatever any queries please any queries please I have the same query. Legal entity. While you are creating, you got the error, right? Uh, creating address. 
Please so work. same uh, same error I got it. So even I sent a screenshot and also the error message which you got today. But uh, while I was selecting the existing, I couldn't find the existing address in my instance. So how to find it? No, no, it's not like uh, here. There is some challenge. Simply you cannot find it. You have to try with uh, just multiple ways. Then only you'll get it. That is a big challenge. Even see when I search with exact name, address name, I could not find. If I don't know whether you noticed or not. I'll go with this. I'll just you know. Yeah, actually I noticed that yeah. the same error which I got it. Yeah. But you solved it by using the existing address. Yeah. You just try with Hyderabad and all. You just will get it. Definitely some address will be there with Hyderabad. Or else I'll show you some other uh, solution. There are predefined addresses for Hyderabad also. In that case, you can go with the postal code. And you can type 50 something and click on. You should get probably the 16 or something we have. Try with the five. Yep, it's a Jeddah and all somebody created. City, let me try with the city. Some challenge we have here. It's normally even the values are there. It won't give this form. It will just, it just it will play. That's how we have a small issue with this. Let me try with the full address. Let's go the postal code. Uh, we have all those that should come. It's wildcard search is not possible in this. Could see something with the D. The same way, just you may try this kind of practice, and all you'll just get some information. Is there any other way to find out? No, 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 no. Because what you created here, you just you have to find from here only. But if you know that address which you created, normally there won't be an issue here. So, so address code, address line number, we may just try with ERP. We have existing one address, right, with this. There is some problem with this field. Uh, that's what it, it's not getting visible all the time. So I'll call this search now. Mm, ERP tree. Underscore any chance we have like this. Can I take some other country address because uh, uh, some other country? <clears throat> okay, you can take it. Uh, there won't be an issue. But just for practice, that is okay. But normal cases, you know, like we don't do that. And this is some field level issues and all.
suppose if I select other country address because yeah. ours is INR, we are selecting, right? Will it be an issue? Yeah, we have. That's the reason why it's not displaying now. Let me try. Saudi, we have there. That should come. Yeah, victory. Currency is INR, right? Yeah, currency is no, no. Earlier it was uh, Saudi Arabia, some, some values. It was defaulting. Now let me try with this. Yeah, P3, I should get it. But still, we have some problem with this uh, field and, and you know, searching norm, it won't come. See, now you can try like this. Okay, address code I just given ERP, it is display. This address is displayed only in your instance, right? Yeah. Yeah, just you. I have, other, I have instance in my laptop, Rajendra installed it. Okay. So, in that, I'm trying to check, but it is not getting it. In that case, so I'll do one thing. I'll give you the postal code there. If you try with, I think, 50 or 500, it will get Hyderabad address. See here, you can say postal code. You can use any one of these. Okay, okay, got it. Let me try in this way. It will work. It will work. Okay, earlier it was not working because I didn't notice here defaulted the Saudi. That, that is the reason uh, the India address are not coming. Postal code uh, you can uh, use and you start with the five because this is a postal code. Any code uh, which is there, it will come. Okay, you just you can try in this. Thank you. Fine, thanks. Any other Thank questions? Yeah. Any other questions? Any questions based on today's session or previous classes? Or do you have any issues when you're practicing an instance? If you get any issue, like you don't need to wait for next session, you can uh, make a screenshot and you can describe about what exactly issue. You can email us. I just will revert back to you on that. Any questions, please? But one Today's session, while assigning, while assigning value set, uh, ERP project, ERP department, ERP future one and all that while assigning the uh, operations account, uh, we don't have to enable anything, right? Straight away we have to save it. Just assign, that's it. Assign and save it. No need to enable anything. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. We have just value sets. The value sets we are assigning to the respective segments. That's all. Okay. After assigning, just, uh, anyway, for segments, we'll be assigning the flex field qualifiers. That is other separate point, but for assignment process, you don't need to enable anything, not required. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Any other questions, please? Okay. And other very important Lashmi. point is. Lashmi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, 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 GLHR ID, how we are getting that one? Can I know? Sorry? Uh, this GL ledger ID, hmm. you shown right one double two zero two no. ID. How we are getting? So when we create primary ledger, system will store in the database, right? For everything, whatever even if you create transaction, also transaction IDs also system will create for easy understanding and process purpose. So one system will create this what Oracle written the programming to pop up the same ID to the same responsibility with a GL ledger ID profile option. Okay, why they are displaying here? Just for the purpose when technical people are working, when they have to write some programming and all, instead of going and querying from the database, the easily just they can see and they can find out the information. If you notice, even when you create the primary ledger also, automatically just that will, the ledger ID will be taken as a part of ledger short name. Just for information purpose only, otherwise they can hide it, but just they are giving display. So if you require sometimes when you query the data from database and technical aspects, so for that you can have information. If you click on update here, you can see this is our ledger name. This is a short name. Here also we have see one two one double two zero. This is a ledger ID. Basically for this ledger, what ID in the back backend system created that ID it will copy into short name. Just for information. That's all. Apart from that, nothing else. Okay. So for technical reference, that can be useful. Functional point of view, no need to do anything with that. Okay. Is it clear? Yeah. So other important point you see, if you are practicing, then 
really it, uh, it will be good experience for you if you are not practicing if you are waiting for practice with several reasons the experience will be totally different okay that is for sure so generally most other people don't practice please you don't be in that list okay that's uh, just i'm just i want to pass some message from my side since i see generally people who are working they'll be busy with their work just they'll do attend for classes if you go with that mode so you, you cannot take benefit from this that is there so that's the reason just i'm trying to give you just i'm trying to talk on that reason we are in the very initial stage okay now if you start from now then it would be okay after some time if you start classes will be somewhere will be running and you will be in the very beginning okay maybe after one month if you start creating the calendar chart of accounts the story totally it will be different okay that is the reason just please uh, try to do some practice even you can ask many questions and uh, we'll try to get clarity on that then it will be easy you try to complete your practice and everything before uh, parallelly don't plan after completing the course okay if you complete after completing the course things will be changed and it will be a bit challenge for you also to um, grab everything and understanding etc so that's the reason this is the right time to start with your practice also i can see few guys are practicing no doubt but most of the people are not fine anyway that we know very well so any other questions yeah lakshman i have one request can you send me that uh, links i mean uh, 10th session i mean 11th session and 12th session after completing class uh, can you send me oh. why because uh, for practicing uh, for practicing, yeah. one second one second uh, you speaking except last session okay. i shared all the links earlier okay uh, the last session i uploaded in uh, youtube today Okay. okay, I don't. I don't request you to go and subscribe my channel. But anyway, today I'll be sending. If you already subscribed, normally you'll be getting the alert. Okay, but anyway, I'm not okay. going to upload many videos into this. Maybe after two three videos, I'll be stopping uploading into YouTube. And all the videos I'll keep in the folder. I'll be sharing through Google Drive. That's how it works. Fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't get any link about I mean, yeah. uh, regarding that session. Uh, Fine, fine. Anyway, today that link and uh, including today's session, everything I'll be sharing today. Okay, I'll do. That. Okay, okay, sure. Lakshman, please uh, send after completing class. Can you uh, uh, try to send the links? Sure, sure. I'll after class as soon as possible. I'll be sending from now. I don't take much. Yeah, because uh, no, no, we, no, no, I can understand. We have some time. I, I can understand. I can understand. Yes, that that I should do. First of all, I'm sorry for the delay. Uh, if I'm not able to send immediately, but today I'll do it. Okay, today just. You can expect as soon as possible today. I'll, I'll do that today itself. Yeah, I can understand. Just <laughs> definitely, I should understand that. So I'll, I'll send it. I'll send it as soon as possible today. Even further classes also. Any other questions, please? Fine. Seems to no questions. So we can wind up the session for today, and we'll connect tomorrow same time. Okay, please be available sharp seven. Okay, today I think uh, we started seven three or seven four. So tomorrow sharp seven will be starting. Okay, please be available by sharp seven. Then that would be really good. Okay, so that's all for today. Then see you tomorrow. Have a good day and good night. Thank you all. Good night.